Hello, today's devotional can be found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. Alright. First and foremost, we're children of God, but we're also mortal, and mortal have, mortals have this unfailing imperfection or lose patience with one another. I mean, but it is, it is definitely something that can be improved upon. For Christ, when he did his ministry, he warned the unruly, he comforted the feeble-minded, and even healed them. He supported and healed the weak, and he was patient in all things towards everyone, even up until his death and beyond. And we can't force the unruly to change their ways. We really can't, but we can warn them what will happen. Because those who are unruly, and and just bliss in that, eternal sorrow will be their reward. Because sadly the unruly are either very ignorant about what they're doing, or they know what they're doing, and choose to do it anyway. And if sad for them, Christ sorrows for them that they do not want to embrace the atonement. And the feeble-minded are, are not embracing the knowledge they could for whatever reason. But still, blessed be them because they try their best. They try out. They try very hard. They strive to live righteousness and simplicity. And they should always be looked after. And the weak, the physically weak, the emotionally weak, the mentally weak. In a way, we're all weak. But fortunately, the atonement is there to help and guide us to our strengths. Now, some may not have, may not understand or have heard of the atonement, so it's our sacred duty to take that knowledge to other people that they may be able to feel strength in Christ. And patience. Patience with all men, including ourselves. Because it takes people, some people a little longer to understand and embrace knowledge than it does others. We shouldn't be short-tempered with them. We should just be patient and let them do their thing. And if they ever come around, that's good. If not, we shouldn't hate them. Because everyone's got their right to free agency. And patience is a virtue. And you know what? We shouldn't just be patient with others. We should be patient with ourselves. We shouldn't bash ourselves and knock ourselves because it takes us longer to get things or we don't feel like we're loved because we're very loved by God and Jesus Christ if no one else. And our patience is continually developing. God and Christ are very patient with us so we should be patient with them and realize also that we are a child of God, each and every one of us, and that we have a right to be good towards ourselves as well as others. Take comfort in the fact that we do not walk this path alone, that Christ has already walked it and he encourages us to walk in faith if we so choose. And with that said, I love you all so very much and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.